So I think that most people have their first electric car experience. Sorry, I'm sweaty. It's hot out today. I was setting up some stuff outside the car. So that glisten is a glisten. So I think most people have their first electric car experience with the Tesla or with a Nissan Leaf. And I just accelerated a lot right there. So since this is a hot day, I was gonna be like, I'm gonna set a timer and see how the air conditioning does and how long it takes to get cold. You know, it hasn't even been like two minutes and this is nice and comfy here. So welcome to the farmlands of Maryland. Uh, this is a nice back road. If you live in this house over here, sorry, you're on YouTube, my bad. If you've never driven an electric car before, you're in for a treat. Um, I hope you're able to drive something as responsive as this. Like... There's instant torque anywhere you are in the spectrum. So if you're at 55 and you want to go to 65, you're there, like, there instantly. I was like... What are people going to use this car for? Commuting? Grocery? Oh! We're going to do a grocery run. That way, on the next video, we can make some food. Make some recipes, if you're into that kind of thing. Can't already tell what I'm driving. It's this uh, icon, iconic thing right here in the corner. It's a, it's a Jaguar. That's an I-Pace. Just gonna stick stuff in the back like like normal people do when they go to the grocery store. You know how it is. Also got some water, so that's cool. Beautiful sky outside. Oh, hello, what's up, car? So imagine you're like uh, done with your grocery shopping and then you're like, oh man, I'm going to need a uh, <clears throat> Car wash. Well, this is kind of what it looks like. Hey, what's up? Hey, car washes are like one of my favorite things. When you hit the camera button here, it's kind of fun to see what things look like. You can basically just see all the cameras getting washed. And so what happens if I look at just the front? Oh, okay. This is what this looks like. This is what this, oh, that one's blurry and just got soaped. That's this camera, this camera, and then of course we can look at the back. And you can just like kind of go back and forth. Oh, look at that water coming through. That's fun. And so we press drive, and then we have to take advantage of the, yeah, okay, okay, we're moving. Ugh. A little touchy here on the pedal. It's all about watching the clock now. So creeping is hard in the electric. 
Yeah, some car washes are better than others. So now we just have to drive fast because if we don't drive fast, this won't dry off effectively. Uh, it's a hot and sweaty day. It's a hot and sweaty day. It's a hot and sweaty day. Day, 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 day. What time is it? See this? This says heat advisory until 8 p.m. It's 8.10, but I'm like still really hot. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. It's hot, just like this car. This car is the Jaguar I-Pace. Um, can we go somewhere else? Sorry, that was a wasp. So uh, the car wash kind of worked. Um, I didn't have towels with me until a few minutes ago, so there's a few water spots on it. You could just overlook that, overlook that, over, overlook that. If you're watching this, you've, you're either just a cool subscriber or you're actually interested in maybe getting one of these and you've already watched about four reviews. So I don't know if I'm gonna say anything else that's different than what other people have said, but I'm gonna try and make it fun. If I'm looking at the door, the only thing that's different than any other car door, well, some of them might have this, but there's Meridian surround sound, which is cool. The child lock for the windows looks like a Bluetooth child. Don't ask me what a Bluetooth child is. They have the cool uh, door handles that pop out when you unlock the car. Okay, let's talk about the back. Uh, this is a great trunk space. Power up, power down. Da, 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 da. There's a little uh, license plate light there. And the camera. So those are the things you see there. But you want the only thing you need to know here is the button. So just press that. Things open. Uh, there's a little 12 volt power thing here. Boom. There's a hooky thing here. And a hooky thing here. Top tether stuff on the back seat. So what's under here? A little bit of storage. I've been in a Tesla store like probably you have and if you open the back here it like goes to forever okay so uh, this this doesn't go to forever you could stick a laptop down here maybe two laptops three laptops in a row uh, one two three four five or six Fuji X100 what are they now T no V whatever those nice ones are maybe if it was stacked high 12 Rico GR thing I don't know whatever let us drop this back down and go to the back seat the basic gist is it's really quite simple back there there's not a lot of hoopla decent carrying space not a lot but there's the frunk and yes we're back in the front uh, you can just press on the keys and it's just like if there were an engine here you would flip that little thingy and your frunk is about the size of a satchel but yeah small duffel very small duffel yeah also if you are running out of windshield wiper fluid this is your spot there's an airplane Hey FedEx, what's up? Windshield wiper fluid, and that's about all you can do up here. But cool thing is if you have a map or something, you could use the map thingy or a magazine or a brochure or a candy bar. Well, you wouldn't want to put a, if you put a candy bar up here, it would melt on a day like today. Um, so apples, apples don't melt. Stick apples in here. Anywho, that's that. And it's probably the smallest frunk I've ever seen. And if you were wondering, this, yes, is a functional air thingy. It goes through here, under here, through here, up through here, and up through here. So I guess it's for aerodynamics, but I couldn't tell you. Jaguar logo. So fun fact, if you're ever t taking photos of a vehicle, uh, the, uh, the tip to liven them up is to turn on the lights. Oh. 
So yeah, liven up the vehicle with the headlights. Doesn't it look so much better? Also, you hear that fan now? It's pretty loud, but it's a hot day and the air conditioning is blasting and it's really good air conditioning. So, this is probably my favorite look. Just the parking driving light things. Like, just look at that. Would you look at that car? So I would literally leave these on for the rest of the review, except the fan is super loud, so I'm probably gonna turn them off. Also, here's the tail lights. We are at 90 degrees still at like 8.30 p.m. with the humidity of 65. It was like 70 something earlier, but, oh, sorry, 88. Okay, so I feel like in a lot of car reviews, tail lights and headlights are not talked about enough. And on a car like this with such graceful Amazing looking tail lights. This is like nine and a half, maybe even a 10 out of 10 tail light. And uh, I don't know if it's because people don't really care about tail lights, but tail lights make or break a car in my opinion. Let's check out the back seat real quick before the sun. Uh, I think the sun's already risen on the other side of the world. Late. Wow, this is really nice. So. I feel like in former videos, I've complained about the backs of seats. Maybe not, but I have a problem with hard backs. This is a nice mix, actually. This is like leather, this is plastic. And then there's this map coloring book uh, magazine pocket thingy. Very nice. Seating is comfortable. There's an air vent here. So lights are up here. Back, back here there's lights, that's kind of cool. This is all glass and it looks really good. Cool thing about this back door is it has these motion things. So suppose I was in New York City or let's Philadelphia or Baltimore, which I'm, I'm closest to, uh, or DC. I'm kind of between the two, right? Uh, there's this little icon here. If a biker came zooming up as I'm opening the door, it would blink. So that's what this is here. Also, Meridian Surround, just a reminder. So these controls change the controls. Okay, so I'm gonna take a voiceover break here and say I had no idea what was going on. And I'm cutting out about 10 minutes or so of trying to figure out the front and back systems, including the HVAC menus. And you know, by HVAC, I mean, obviously climate control. LOL. Um, anyways, I'm also gonna take a moment here to randomly plug two shirts I'm having printed. No, I'm not sponsored by anyone, but I can sponsor myself. Um, you see, I got tired of being in virtual meetings, and every time I left a meeting, I thought to myself, hey, that leave meeting button would be really good on a shirt. So, this happened. Also, 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 I made one for folks who don't use Zoom and maybe on a different platform. Alrighty, I'm done. Back to the vid. So since it's becoming dark at night, I'm using my iPhone for lighting here. But basically, we got USB normal, 12 volt USB normal. And I mean, not USB-C, which is interesting. I mean, it's an interesting choice. Not the, not the most high end, but you know, it's cool. I'm gonna hit a couple things up front right before we skip to the next day in this video. So here we can close the trunk. It's just a simple press, trunk closes. You can hit the front, I'm not gonna do that. You can use the, this to dial down the brightness illumination of how bright you or dark you want the dash. And that covers all screens everywhere. You can select a dark theme or a light theme or do auto. Um, my phone is on dark theme, so I mean, I just have a natural look for that. Um, one thing you can see, the AC has been making the build up here. Um, if I do a 
windshield wiper sauce, it comes out of the windshield wipers themselves, from what I can tell, <laughs> which is crazy. So I'm gonna create a new profile here. P-I-E-T-E-R. Okay, creating profile. Use your vehicle key to, uh, not now. So what this feature does is you can pair your key and it'll kind of remember your settings. So you, you get in your car and everything you've taught it, it's learned and you kind of have this Climate, cool seamless seat, experience. Learning, predictive, call list, media source selection. So you can have it if you want your heated steering wheel to come on at that point. Phone reminder. Uh, yeah. My icon. I'm going to change the icon to red. I like red. We're going to go back here and now we have Peter in my profiles. If we do the Bluetooth, we can pair new devices. If we do this, we can go to media stuff phone stuff, um, GPS, um, and then you, you can go figure out your, um, media settings here. Here, we're gonna go back home, and that's all for tonight. So, we're done with this creepy movie, um, that's kind of like the night setup. I'll have a few more things to say during the day, but let's, let's go now. Uh, we're at 100 miles or so on this I-Pace. New day, by the way, if you can't tell. I don't just change clothes twice in a day, except when I do. I'm gonna call up this Jaguar place and be like, hey, where do you guys charge? And she'll probably be like, or he'll probably be like, um, <clears throat> look at the GPS, but I'm gonna try. And because of recording laws here in Maryland, I'm probably not gonna give you the second side of the conversation, because that's more work. Uh, I'm just wondering um, where people typically charge up the I-Paces around the uh, Columbia area. No, no, no. Where we charge it, like plug it into the wall. Like, okay. Is there someone who could direct me in that? Hey, I'm just wondering. Um, so I'm borrowing a friend's I-Pace and I'm just wondering where people typically charge them up. Uh, okay, right on. Sounds good, thank you. She was like, I don't know, but check on the screen. I do think that Porsche um, allows you to come in and charge at the dealership. She didn't offer that, so I don't think that's a dink, but I don't know what else you would call it. So my friends just plug in at their house and that might work for some people, but if you're out and about and whatever, what if you get up to a certain limit then you kind of need to find a charger. So I'm going to go check the settings and see how to get a charge. So remember last night when the control stuff didn't show up here? Well, it shows up here now, but I can't change anything unless you go up here and then to back and then you kind of have to unlock it. So coming back here to this thing, now I can control it and you aren't actually affecting Uncle Carl and Aunt Susie, I don't think, because if you tap this, I'm gonna put Aunt Susie, I'm gonna put her on 75. That doesn't change back here. So I was kind of not, hadn't figured it out yet, but that's the deal. If you're on the front settings up here and you just hit the back, then it shows you what the back is set to. That doesn't indicate what the front is sent to. So just a, just a heads up. Then back here again, if you press, you'll notice it switches to seat mode and you can either pick cooled seats or hot seats. And this one, this car doesn't appear to have cold. It just has hot, but you have a blue arrow that's like you didn't buy that package. So there's that. Now these indicators work and show you what the fan speed is. So I don't know if that's clear or not, but basically if you're in the front air conditioning control display panel, you need to hit the rear button. It switches all your numbers across the board to rear. 
So I guess that could be a little confusing if you're just trying to control the front and you accidentally hit the back button and then you're like, uh, what am I doing? But, you know, I think it's a great uh, um, space saving thing. And since it's a digital screen, you can put as many buttons there as you want. Whatever. But uh, yeah, it's nice to know that there's heated seats at least back here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna put it on auto here and put it back to something cool because it's burning up out here. Um, let's look up here. I'm gonna go to maps. And here you have charging stations nearby. And I can plug in these various spots. I think I know where some are. So this is gonna be fun because I have no idea how to charge this thing other than it's super easy to open the outside thing. And I see that little percentage and everything and it says I'm at 56% here. Oh, and since this has been on for a while, it says vehicle shut down to preserve unless the brake is pressed. So I'm gonna press the brake and that just clears that. Just because I've been out here um, talking about the car and it's been on because it's super hot outside. It'll ask you if you want to shut off and that was probably like 10 minutes. So, all right, 56, 53. That's how much percentage I'll be there. So I'm gonna hit start and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Also, notice these things. It beeps every time you come up here because it tells you that there's, there's uh, I'll always call them photo signals, but um, red light cameras. That's the beep beep um, when it warns you, probably at least a half mile ahead, that there you have those uh, uh, red light cameras. Come on, I always want to say photo signals, but I mean, it's kind of, what they are but so I found these guys here and I am gonna have to download an app we'll see how this goes so just you open it and when you open it you'll notice the car just sank a little level um, I'm gonna see what kind of charger we need for this I don't really know to charge and then you swipe waiting for response this is just not meant to be oh there we go waiting for response checking payment method and then initializing I think I take this and plug it in. And I heard a lock. Oh, now it says it was initializing. Now it says charging. And you see a little graph there. And I got a little notification saying your vehicle is now charging. And the car like just buzzed up. I'll see how much this costs. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Just the setup is a little bit tedious. Now in the interior of the car, this is what you see says time remaining an hour and nine minutes so I'm gonna have to find something to do while we're waiting for it to charge let me exp when you want to disconnect this thing you have to like hit the remote unlock button three times and then it like disconnects so we'll show that in a little bit and yes if you're wondering if the AC works while this is charging. Yeah, you just get back in the car and hit the start button without putting your foot on the pedal. I don't know if it slows down the charging, but at least you don't die in the car because it's so hot outside. It's 93 right now. I just cut back to the app and um, you can see it's charging and you can just check on it whenever. 
And I guess you can swipe it if you want to stop the charger. I'm not sure what I'm going to... I think I might turn off the AC in a bit. It is getting kind of cold in here. And I, if that's going to charge it faster... That's cool. I don't know. Still figuring out this stuff. I mean, thanks for hanging out with me. Really appreciate it. So some of the other car companies allow you to watch stuff while you're waiting. I have my phone so I can watch stuff. Also, now you can see the glass. So at some point this just stopped. So I'm gonna unplug it. And then I had this three times. And then I just put it away. It's pretty easy. Let me just shut this. This is just a uh, pop open and shut. And then I had got a notification here that it was 45 minutes. That's how much energy was used and the session cost was 14 bucks. So yeah, it's cheaper to charge at home, but hey, this is a fast way of charging things. Also, it didn't, it didn't charge fully, so I don't know the reasoning behind that, but 93% with 187 miles seems pretty good, so I'm not complaining. Also, I don't really want to sit here any longer. So this is the part of the show where I let my wife drive, and we went and got boba, and then we got stuck in traffic on the way back. And one thing she mentioned was, you know, the pedal is super touchy and stop and go. So, you know, that is something to consider. Also, I mean, look at this glass roof. Just, just look at it. So one of my favorite features, hey buddy. Why is this video filled with wasps? There's a wasp I just got in here. So one of my favorite features in here. So this is off-road height. This is normal ride height. This is less than normal ride height. So going back up. So this goes down to normal height. And this goes down to the lowest setting. I don't really actually know how many people would take this off-road uh, if this had better tires for off-road. I'd consider it, but you know, you can only ask so much from your friends. And since we're talking about these guys, there's this of course, traction control off, and then there's these, and then there's this. This is ASPC. This is mo drive modes. So we can toggle through the modes um, to uh, rain, ice, snow. It also asks you here, do you want to activate a low friction launch? Uh, well, there's actually no snow, so I don't want to mess up anything. Nope, nope. Let's switch to a different mode that's not so, not so cool. Eco mode is what I've been running it in this whole time, and it's very fast. This is comfort mode. Uh, actually, I think I might have used this for like half this review. And then there's dynamic, which is red. Um, one thing I noticed is when I tried dynamic mode last night is the ambient lighting throughout the vehicle didn't change. So there's that. So that's what those buttons are for. So my guess is the average person is going to leave it in eco mode because they think that's going to get them the longest range. Or comfort mode because they think they want to be comfortable. The fact is I don't really think that many people are going to stick it in dynamic mode very often. Except they'll remember it when they're like trying to race their neighbor who has a Tesla. I don't even know if that helps. I thought eco mode 0 to 60 was quite enough. Ah, 
so at the end of the day, you know, when groceries are gotten, your commute is done, your day is done, everything's finished, getting home, and, well, just plug in. It's pretty straightforward. Yep. There we go. The green glow. So, there you have it. Uh, great electric car. Nice alternative to Tesla. Something maybe a little less common. If you're looking for something electric, fast, luxurious. The i is a really sweet electric car and if you're in the market for an electric car but you don't like a lot of the options you see, maybe you've missed this one. So at least go test drive it. I'm done. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions you can ask them in the comments. Maybe I can answer your question. Maybe I can't. But it's been a pleasure to hang out with you and uh, stay tuned next video for like maybe recipes I don't know until next time I don't know take care of yourself mm -hmm.